Okay, look what we have here. We got more parts, more parts, and more importantly, the wheels are back from powder coat. And they look good, I tell you that. <laughs> okay, so I got both tires separated, both wheels, I mean. So everything over here on over is pretty much the rear wheel. Everything up here is the front wheel. Um, for tires, we are going Shinko SR740s up front, 18616s. And for the rear, Shinko's also, these are the SR735s, 19616s. I'm gonna get a better view, but I'm surprised really how much difference the tire sizes are like. <laughs> the rear tire just looks way bigger. Um, these are kind of lean, funny, so it, this looks a little bigger, but you'll see on the floor and when they're on the bike, you can tell their rear's bigger, but I think I'm going to like it. It's time to get these bearings in the freezer, get them pressed in the hubs, get the wheels laced, get them trued, and we'll be riding. Fun, fun, fun. Sound easy. And that's the only part of it. Bunch of brakes and tires and tubes and all that other good stuff to get on. And we about to paint these bars and a lot of other stuff. Let's get back to the build. Here we go, getting started. Opening up some brand new OEM Honda parts. This right here is nothing too crazy. Just a little rubber gasket that goes inside the car. Taking the old one out so we can eliminate any air leaks early. We don't want any air leaks, no fuel leaks, no nothing. We just want the bike to run crispy as possible, just like it came right from the factory. Here we got another OEM Honda part. This right here is just a little vent hose for the car. It goes on the side of the car, help the car breathe better. OEM everything, young. Another carb drain hose that goes at the bottom. Just use that little screw at the bottom of the carb. Drain the carb when you need to. Let all the fuel out the bowl of the carb whenever you need to. You know, sometimes you let the bike sit or something like that, you know. This right here is the fuel line for the carb. I usually like to use the clear fuel line. Honda even has a clear fuel line, but this is the OEM one for this 2001 XR100, we want to keep it as original as possible, really. Here we taking off the intake. How the intake does have a gasket on it, as we're about to see. Like I said before, we don't want no fuel leaks, no air leaks, just a crispy running bike. It's the old, crusty, dusty, gasket and the old little rubber seal as you can see we're gonna replace them both if you guys want the part numbers i can add them at the bottom i haven't yet but it's always something that i can do if anyone wants to know all the part numbers fits in there nice and snug got the little carbon filter fits right up now, get the intake back on. Not really going according to the torque specs, but don't want to over tighten it. Want to just get it nice and snug. So, you know, like I said before, no leaks, just crisp. Now, here we go, getting the car back on. go again not over tightening the bolts just get them nice and snug car fits on there good carbs nice and clean all new lines and also here we have a new throttle cable this isn't OEM but I always use motion pro always crisp always reliable the needle pin we're keeping at the middle selection which is the OEM you know spec 
Get that cap on there in the little slot. Slide the spring in, snug down the cap. No cap. <laughs> okay, now we're getting the air box on. Get it in there nice and snug. Get the carb clamp on there. Snug it down real tight. Here we got a new crisp uni filter that from my experience usually work even better than OEM. So this is what we going with. Before anybody says anything, I'm not oiling it right now. I do have air filter oil, but we just want to make sure the carb runs. I mean, the bike runs for now. So we just gonna leave it a little dry. Get it on there and get it fits on nice and snug. Right on a little filter cage. Get it on there. Get the clamp on the filter cage. Pop the cap on and we gonna be good to go. Fuel tank on there. This is an XR70 fuel tank. As I said before, the XR70, XR80, XR100 all have the same fuel tank. They're interchangeable. Check the part numbers if you wanna check me. It works, clearly fits right up now let's get some gas in the tank only 93 shells only thing I use in all my bikes of course it would leak while I'm trying to fill it up get the cap back on man okay so the carb is clean and back in we got the new throttle tube hooked on air box and new air filter on new spark plug is in check the oil the oil is at a good level and it's a good color so we're gonna keep it for now so and we just put gas in there so we should start up let's see i've heard it start briefly but let's see if we can get it started Okay, we verified that the bike does run. It does indeed run. So next thing we were gonna be doing is uh, cleaning up a few parts. I got the bars off already because we're gonna be painting those gold. Install a few parts, take a few parts off. Um, I'm gonna go get some more paint. Um, kind of want to see what some contrast and colors will be like maybe paint this like bronze you know the uh, kick lever stand like a bronze brownish bronze color type of thing just to have some kind of contrast and colors we gonna just try them out spray paint them you know we can easily change it so but let's get to it we got a runner we just got to get it running right <laughs> Here we got our OEM kickstand. It's removed and stripped of the old paint. This is the before pick as you about to see. We got to get it right and crispy to go with the build. This is a bronze, just some Rust-Oleum bronze that I decided to go away from Walmart. I have used Rust-Oleum in the past. I'm going to add a clear coat on top and it should hold just good. I usually do about three to five layers of each paint. This is a gold paint that I went with that I think is close as I can get to the powder coated wheels that we got. 
I wasn't getting this powder coated for now. I already broke the budget. We just want to get the bike back together and looking crispy as possible, y'all. Like I said, three to five coats. I think I went at least five coats on this one just because this is the only part that's going to be gold other than the wheels. So I used damn near the whole can almost. But it's going to be good. You know, the handlebars are something that gets touched a lot. So, you know. And the clear coat is going to go on top, of course. Just like to use a nice, even motion. I might go vertical. I might go side to side. I might go a little bit of both. Just to get a clear, even coat all the way around. As you can see, the blue tape. On that bottom part, that's where the throttle is going to go. We just want the throttle to, you know, move crisp as possible. Don't want it to get hung up on any paint. Focused. Focused. <laughs> jamming to, I don't know what I was jamming to, but I was locked in, clearly. <laughs> I do like how it turned out.